Sell me that pen. Watch. Hold on. You sell this fucking pen? That's my boy right there. This pen. So I'm not selling it. Why'd you do me a favor? Why'd you name it on that napkin? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply it to me. Oh, sure. He's crazy. He can watch Whoa, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. That uh, movie has the F-bomb. Hold on. Someone's here. Here. Won't expect anyone. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dylan. Listen, sorry to bother you, but my car ran out of gas right in front of your house. It's a gas station about a mile and a half. Would you give me a quick ride there? Holy crap! It's the dude from... Wait, are you? What are the cars? Are you the Are you Jordan? I am, I am. Yes, I am. Dude, you were in town. Yes, you were just you were not asking oh. questions now. Hey, though. guys, what's up? Um, I know there's probably a video playing. I'm not sure how much I, I let play. But we're, we're talking about, you know, the best strategies in terms of, of what I've learned in terms of really not just sales or marketing, uh, but articulating a message. First, understanding through empathy and a key questioning, understanding the problem at hand or, or the opportunity that there is, and then knowing how to articulate a message that, uh, that leaves both parties with the opportunity to accelerate, excel, progress in whatever uh, ish there might be. So whether you're doing documentaries, whether you're selling something, whether you're an owner, whether you are a politician, attorney, consultant, uh, uh, you know, marketer for a Fortune 500, or or you sell uh, uh, burritos uh, on the side of the street. You know, <laughs> basically, you know, how, how do we do those things? So first, I'll do my version of sell me this pen, okay? So some people don't like to sell me this pen thing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you my version is gonna be a little bit different, okay? So sell me this pen, right? And then I, I take the pen. In. Okay, I'm supposed to sell it. Okay. Some people will be like, well, this is a real shiny pen. It's high quality. Um, you know, the, it's got a lot of. It's full. It's brand new. Um, you know, maybe it's got like a little thing for your uh, iPad or tablet or something like that. Uh, you know, it, it looks executive, so it might you know uh, it represent some kind of uh, value. Like if you look like you're worth more than what you are, or whatever it is. Um, but you're pitching value before you even understand what value to get. What the person has a pen factory, you know? Sorry. So, the, one of the videos shows how with one of the guys is like, here, send me this pen. He's my boy. All right, well, can you, can you, uh, here, write on this napkin, write your name on this napkin for me. Oh, well, I don't have a pen. Supply and demand, right? Because it create, which is great, right? How do you point out something or, or have a conversation that helps somebody kind of passively and directly see, oh, shoot, where's a pen? I don't have a pen. Oh my gosh, I just so happen to have one. Would you like it? You know? Um, but my version is this. I say, so me this pen, and then I take the pen and I'm like, peace out. I don't need it. Don't eat it. Sorry, husky. Um, no. Get rid of the pen. Get rid of the Bible. Get rid of your uh, 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 taco. Get rid of your service. Get rid of your presentation. Get rid of your message. Whatever you want to do, put it aside first. Then get to understand. First, get to understand what you, who your audience is, right? So one thing that I'll take from Jen Adams, someone that I worked with back in the day over at Symantec, um, uh, she, she presented this to a, few, a, a bunch of us. Uh, it's called Ant, right? Authority, money, pain point, timeline. Authority. Who are you talking to, right? If I'm going into a business and I want to pitch a website for photography, videography, graphic design, client acquisition, consulting, whatever, secret shopper as a service, you know, you name it. Um, who am I, I, I always even go, I, don't, I, don't, I never just show up to a place, and unless I'm getting a taco next door, and I've always wanted to go into this one spot or whatever, um, always find out, always find out, you know, who's, who's at said location that makes decisions. The, and for me, director of marketing, the owner, general manager, then if I find out they're there, let me talk to them, right? Or if I happen to be nearby, whatever. So you establish the authority that makes decisions instead of wasting your time, instead of wasting your time uh, talking to a bunch of other people that, that, that can't, they don't care, or they have no idea what to do with the information that, um, that you're talking about. Love you. Over there, King. Um, and then the money, right? What kind of budget do they have? If you're selling a product that's $5 versus 
$10,000, let's find out where they're at because you don't want to uh, spend more time. No, no. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, my God. So the money, right? You got the money. Here you go. Just be right here. So you don't want to... So, the, so there's the authority. There's the money, right? Uh, what's their budget, right? If you can get that out of them. Sometimes you can't, and that's okay. You get an idea of, of, of what, they're, what they're able to do. And then, and then, you know when you can waste, use your time or not. Thirdly, pain point. What's their pain point? It doesn't always have to be a pain point. What's what's an area where you can help grow their revenue? I mean, like, what if they're, like, making millions of dollars and everything's just peachy keen and you want to sell them something, um, but they're fine with it? Well, guess what? This website or this knife or this vacuum, um, based on what you told me, like... You said, you said you had pain points where it's like it takes you too much time, you have to pay somebody. What if I told you that this solution actually saves you 30% more time? Is that valuable to you? Because you mentioned time was valuable to you. Doing that. So finding a way, finding some reason to be able to, a compelling reason to be able to plug and play your solution, right? Or if it's, you know, a documentary, what's uh, that's about it. But anyways, regardless, pain point. Or area to improve business to make them even more money. Who doesn't want to make more money, right? Fourthly, timeline. Are they ready to do this today or tomorrow? Or is this going to be next year? And if it is going to be next year, what can I do, Mr. Customer, Miss Customer, to get it done sooner? If you got it done sooner, if we got this project done sooner, would this open up doors? Would it open? You know, saving time. A lot of times, you know, uh, it's it's... I don't need more money necessarily, but I'm doing 80 hours a week. Like for myself, I work probably 70, 80 hours a week. Uh, and so I'm constantly looking at ways to make my life faster, make things more efficient. And so I've made some changes. And now um, now I've actually got staff, so I don't actually do, well, I don't have to do websites and graphic design and some other things uh, if I don't want to. And now it opens me up to now fill my life with other stuff that is also for business. But but it's 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 I guess what I'm saying is um, you know how do, how do we hasten the deal to come sooner uh, by asking like is there value in doing it sooner? Will this actually put more money? How is this going to hurt you by putting it off? for a year or for six months or for whatever like and really digging into the value but again the biggest thing is this don't sell the pen understand the person because they might not i hate pens if anybody tried to sell me a pen i would laugh at them because i type i don't write i don't remember the last time i wrote other than using a sick other than doing my john hancock so it would be a big waste of time so you know I, it, it, it's our, yeah. So make sure you understand your audience. Make sure you understand your authority. Make sure you understand the money, what kind of budget they have, if you can get, if you can gather that. Uh, and, and, and then sometimes you just kind of have to put it out there. Don't drop your pants on your price, but hang tight and see what happens and then come back a little later so you don't come off desperate. Um, and don't be desperate because if you have more stuff in your pipeline, if you have more irons on the fire and more businesses, just like if you're dating a girl, if you've got like five other girlfriends, this one's not going to feel the pressure that turns a lot of girls off. So if I'm like, you know, not invested heavily in anybody, but I'm just checking the field out and like there's this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so awesome. I really want to like hang out with her. I can diffuse a little bit of the emotion because I've got other things going on as well. Not just other girls, but other irons in the fire, like, you know, I'm on a, you know, friends, you know, uh, projects, work, whatever. Balancing it out, having a vision, right? So not coming off desperate is really important. And I would, add, I would ask you to check out what emotional intelligence is. Being able to have balanced emotion, uh, being chill. You don't have to be the smartest person in the room, but the person that just gets along with everybody and they're just rolling, that doesn't just go from zero to 1,000 because someone said something or whatever. But being able to just be that guy that everybody gets along with or that gal, right? Um, so again, authority, money, uh, pain point, knowing how to figure out where their holes are at, but actually seeing where there's uh, also areas that maybe aren't painful, but like, oh my gosh, 
we can actually save some time, Mr. Customer, and you can go back to your family now. Let's 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 equip you with opportunities to do even more. You know, and then timeline, finding out when do we need to get this done and how do we get it done sooner because it's worth more. So thanks for joining in. Uh, Dave Garcia, founder, owner of Tempo Consulting Group, uh, previously a director, sales guy, marketer, counselor, uh, social worker, a lot, of, a lot of sales though, and really at the end of the day, articulating messages, understanding people, consulting, and finding ways so we can always have a good, happy life, family, kumbaya, tribal Lism and and just accelerating uh, in this thing we call yo 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 yo. It's kind of a yo yo sometimes. Uh, Yolo. You only live once, right?